Good morning, guys. It's Monday morning. Today is one of those days when the alarm went off. I actually stayed in bed till my alarm went off. I didn't wake up early like I normally do. Today's one of those days where I'm just like, wouldn't it just be easier to live in an apartment <laughs> and not have to do any of this work? Wouldn't it just be easier to, to do that? And for about 10 seconds, it appeals to me. Just so you know, get up, have a cup of coffee, take a shower, go to work. Come by the grocery store, on the way home, pick up what I need, or, God forbid, Uber it. Uber Eats, if I lived in the city. And you just go home, eat your dinner, watch TV, go to bed. I'm really start thinking about what they're putting in our food. I think, no, that's really not how I want to live. I don't want to live in the city. And I don't want to be dependent on the grocery store. I just don't. And I would miss my girls. I'm just tired. I spent all day in the kitchen yesterday. Literally came out and milked in the morning. Went in. Um, started cutting the oranges and uh, squeezing them by hand. I had a really good deal on some oranges. So I bought a box and I canned orange juice. Never canned orange juice before, but it was really easy and the oranges were super sweet. So I didn't have to add any sugar or anything. So now I have some fresh squeezed orange juice. I don't know if you can consider it fresh. So I put, you know, like 12 oranges in the fridge to eat for lunch. Because we'll all eat them. And, um, then I had, are you out of grain already? And I can, and I put them into um, pints instead of quarts. Because I don't want it to go bad. I'd rather open two pints because we need it than open a quart and have it go bad. Because it's fresh squeezed, there's no preservatives in it. It's not going to last forever, even refrigerated. Really? What do I got over here? Yeah, I learned that trick pretty well, huh? Yeah, I like to stick a bucket in front of her face with some oats in it so she shoves her head in there and then I fill the bu other bucket. Well, thank you for moving close to me. Although nobody can see me now, I have to like peek around. And then I make bread. What else did I do? Oh, I separated all my milk and I made butter. It took longer than I thought for making the butter. Um, probably because I had thinner cream, because when you separate your cream, there's a button on it to determine how thick you want your cream, and when I made ice cream last time, it was too thick, so the ice cream texture was off, so I tried doing it thinner, yeah, I don't like it thinner, so I'll just adapt the ice cream recipe and add some milk into it. To thin it and keep the, the uh, cream really thick. So I think I have a quart, I have a quart of half and half of heavy cream, over a quart of heavy cream, a quart and a little bit more in a quart. One's heavier than the other so I labeled them heavy heavy cream for butter and a less heavy cream for ice cream. really doesn't take long to separate the milk. The butter takes a while. But it's white. It's snow white butter. I washed all the eggs that have been 
sitting on the counter waiting to be washed. I don't know you call it washing. I just soak them in water to get off any like stuck pieces of grass or anything. Or like rinse the eggs because I don't like use soap or scrub them. I just use my hands to wipe them. I'm trying to figure out which ones I'm going to stick in my incubator. I need to check and make sure that they're getting fertilized. I mean, I see him all the time doing his business with the girls. So they should be fertilized. I don't know if you know how to tell if they're fertilized. It looks like there's a bullseye in the, on the egg. Um, it literally is a little spot that looks like a bullseye. And I threw away probably 16 eggs that had frozen. Which there's nothing I could do about that. I mean, I suppose if I was not working outside off the farm, I would go and come out and check repeatedly during the day. They won't freeze right away. I mean, they are the temperature of the hen. And in the box, especially where the big chickens are, they're all laying in one box, one big box. So there's normally somebody in there keeping it above, you know, 17 degrees. Oh, I'm hoping the snow's ending. It snowed all day Saturday. Like really snowed. And then yesterday it was snowing again too. We were gonna go out rabbit hunting. But obviously the snow was like, no. I don't want to go out in this. It was coming down pretty heavy. I mean, it would have been okay. It wasn't like driving winds. But the problem is, when it gets starts like that, you never know if it's going to turn into driving winds. The first winter we were here, we went out, out in the back, out into the forest, part of our property, the foresty swamp. And um, I couldn't see anything. I was like, I was so turned around. I was like, okay, I really need to get my sense of direction back. Because it's so easy to get to. I mean, eventually I'm going to either run into the neighbor's property or a road. I mean, I can't go that far before I hit a road. So I'd be able to find my way out. Unless I just go around in circles out there. Which is a distinct possibility. Unless you can see the sun. And on super gray snowy days, not much sun to see. You eating your alfalfa and corn? Oh, you found the corn, huh? She's digging through the alfalfa, so she's preoccupied. No time to worry about what I'm doing down here. Hey, hey. Now, let me pour this off before you step in. Uh, got the water boiling in the back. Just to top off some of that. The layer of ice was super thin. They could have broke it, but I broke it for most of them, especially the babies. So I'll add a little bit of hot water in there. You're almost done, Mama. Isn't that awesome? Isn't that awesome? gives me close to a gallon a day. So I could dry off her sister. I'm not sure how that process works. What's the bananas, honey bunny? Banana, banana, banana. Get 
Get out. Get out. Come on. Come on. First I couldn't get her head in there and now she won't take her head out there. Come on. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Come on. Let's get you some corn. prey animals. Just the littlest thing. Shut, door, shut. How to normal. <clears throat> kind of throws them off. Why don't I have that salsa over here? Oh, I don't know. Lord, I'm tired. <laughs> oh. Spring break is in three weeks. I just have to keep telling myself that in three weeks. Spring break is in three weeks. I'm going to go see my parents for a couple of days. Normally, like, I go, oh, I have a hair in my mouth. I go and, yeah, you know, early, late morning, early afternoon, get there. We have dinner. And then spend the night. And we do stuff, and then I leave that afternoon. It's like a three hour drive. So it's not too bad. Not too bad. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Her cheats are totally different than her sister's cheats. sisters are like longer and pointier and I don't know if it's because it's the second it's her second she's not a freshening freshening means it's her first time this one's autumn is a freshening dough because she's only had one set of she's limited price she only had babies once so far none of my goats have only had one I was watching the southern prepper um because he does like boots on the ground. I like to watch that and see what's going on with the economy and stuff. And, and you, you know, you can't believe everything on there because he's believing what the people write into him. And you don't know if those people are telling the truth or lying. Why people like to lie so much nowadays, I don't know, but they do. And um, I was reaching for a new milk container. I put him underneath the stanchion. 
so they don't get dirty. They don't get dirt on them and stuff. They don't get kicked around as much. But he was talking about how they've got a, a cow and something had happened and they were having problems with the delivery. We just talk about how it's a it's two years because you can't breed them when they're really young. You always want to wait at least a year to breed anything. And then they were saying that he was saying that the baby has to be, you know, raised for a year before you butcher or before you breed again if something were to happen to the mom. And he, hey, they had some sort of, anyway, everything turned out okay for him, but I was thinking, wow, yeah, I think goats are better. I mean, you don't get as much meat. People eat goat all the time. Um, I see it for sale a lot now, way more than I used to. Um, I've never had goat. I would try it, I suppose, because, like, I didn't like goat cheese, and I didn't like goat milk. But the problem was it was ultra-processed. So it tasted funny. It had this aftertaste. But if you have fresh goat milk, it doesn't have that taste. So maybe the meat, if it's processed the right way, wouldn't taste funny. So, I don't know that I could eat mine. But, yeah, because I was thinking, well, I started off with a boy, a buck, and two does. I now have a buck. Two weathers, if you count cardamom in it, and five new baby does, plus their moms. So I have seven does in a year. So I went from three to ten in a year. So way more sustainable. Not to mention the fact that they don't. They eat nowhere near as much as a cow. I was saying, someone was telling me that a dairy cow will eat up to two bales a day. That they're heavy grazers. I have 12 goats because I have two uh, dwarf Nigerians we rescued. Um, me and my soft heart. But, uh, They don't, they might, maybe, the 12 of them eat one bale a day. Maybe. Maybe. There's a lot of hay waste in their stalls because I don't have proper hay racks. And they're notorious for pulling it out. They're just notorious for wasting hay. And we tried the uh, hay, hay nets like the horses have because the horses hardly waste any hay with the hay nets. Except for because they're goats, one, you know... B got a spiral fracture on her leg, and that cost me like $600 at the vet. She's fine now. She limps when it gets really cold. I'm hoping that goes away as she gets older, because it is still a recent break. Um, this hasn't been a year, obviously, because she's still only... Which one was she born? See, I had them born in August. August 8th was when she was born. She's a beautiful girl, though. <clears throat> Some I think are beautiful. Some, they're just pretty. Are you eating all the corn on them? Would you like your banana? Would you like some banana chips, my love? She's not been into the banana so much lately. She really has been, uh, eat the banana. Oh, now you're going to eat your banana. I think she's so relaxed, she would stay here all day to eat. You want to get your, oh, sweetheart. Yes. Yeah, sweetie, you ready to go in there? Let's get some grain to put in your stall. You should really put alfalfa in there, because that will help keep you warm today. Mm-hmm. Here, you really don't need this much oats, but that's all right. It's cold today. Come on. Right. Say goodbye to your fans. Come on, sweetheart.
and gray for the girls. The water for the mom. Bye guys, I'm busy doing a few other chores.